Hello there, welcome back. I didn't think I was gonna be watching this channel again for at least for a little bit. However, you guys have been basically screaming at me on Discord and a couple of people in the comments of some of my videos. You guys want me to react to Sonic and Sonic and Sonic review Guardians of the Galaxy 3. I just saw the movie like recently and I thought it was really good. I thought it was a good ending. There were a few things like I did. I didn't like how Star Wars Lord didn't have his mask or his like his iconic mask and boots. However, I do like that they at least made it make sense in the story, so that's perfectly fine. And but I'm I'm just happy that Rocket's still alive. Okay, so remember spoilers. It, don't click on the video if you don't want to hear spoilers. But with that being said, let's get into today's video. Alright, so here it is, like, subscribe, all that good stuff, you guys know what to do. Um, remember, huge spoiler warning, link to the original video in the description, all that good stuff. So, without further ado, let's get a laugh from the Sonic Bros. Alright, Sonic and Sonic, what's the verdict on the final Guardians of the Galaxy Pretty good. movie? Chris Pratt is really 8 out of 10. This year, huh? What? Sonic? Okay. There's no way- Alright, already, what is with Ryan being negative and already Jason, my boy, being the positive one? You thought both the Mario movie and Guardians 3 were both They good, were both right? good! I mean, the Mario movie was a 4 out of 10. Guardians 3 is like a 6 no. out of 10 at best. That no. averages out to no. a 5 out of 10 for no. Chris Pratt in 2023. Ryan, at this point, stop. you're just hating on everything Chris Pratt yep, does agreed. now. No, Sonic, agreed. Sonic doesn't hate Chris Pratt. He's just mad because Quill and Gamora didn't end up together. What? Oh, fair That's enough. That's not true. Fair enough. I don't care about fair no enough. soppy love story. Oh, oh come bullshit. on. And I Sonic. cared about it too. I saw you sobbing when we were watching Endgame, and Gamora didn't recognize Quill because she was from the past. <laughs> Did that really happen? Ooh, Ryan got outed. Okay, fine. Quill and Gamora were perfect for each other. Uh, but fair. no, the fair. MCU just can't have one great couple make it. With Quill yeah. and Gamora, it was over an Infinity Stone. Yeah. Peter and MJ, some bullshit spell by Strange that didn't need to exist. <laughs> what about True. Hank and Janet? <laughs> Listen to yourself. No cares. Nobody cares about them. Exactly. Okay, we're not even talking about the I had this argument with my friend. Hank and uh, Janet don't it is fucking movie matter. Anymore. I, know. I know, right? Besides, Steve Rogers and Peggy Carter were the best couple, and they Agreed. ended up together. Yeah, Agreed. dude, I had to go back in time to 1949 just to be with that woman. There Agreed. was no Sonic back then. A small price to pay for salvation. Ha! I'm just saying Peter and Gamora <laughs> deserved better, just like Wanda and Vision, <laughs> Romanoff and Banner. The list goes on. Anyway, oh, I forgot Romanoff and Banner used to like I think it was a solid Hulk. ending to the trilogy, and we got Fair. to learn a Agreed. ton about Rocket's backstory. Yeah, also Rocket agreed. That was definitely was it was definitely, definitely my favorite well of the three. Done. It's just a shame that he was asleep. The intro of the second one was my favorite. However, the third one is definitely my favorite for story. For the first half of the movie because of it. Well, yeah, but they made up for that in the second half of the movie. Plus all the backstory flashbacks of Rocket with his original friends. They didn't yep. make up for shit. Remember when Rocket was Ryan, more like stop. a fun character? <laughs> You're hurting movie me. was way too serious for a Guardians movie. Hold on, Sonic. They had some good jokes in there. Yeah, but in Like the F-bomb? The best joke were already shown in the trailers exactly also, what we yeah, ended up fair. seeing was but i didn't watch many of them so that bitch, was fine for me especially to quill quill wasn't perfect either he kept going on and on to past gamora about how she wasn't his gamora like let it go already of course i'm sorry it's hard to like i'm sorry but i personally would be like if i was hanging out with my friend that was from the past that wasn't my friend that i had those memories with i'd still be a little like what the fuck? Whisperson over here can't empathize with someone who lost the love of his life. Yakker is still alive. Fuck off, Sonic. Stop fighting. We still haven't even talked about the villain of the, <laughs> the movie. The bombs are still he funny. Was trash. Nobody took him seriously. Yeah, I mean, I like the story way more than Quantumania, but Kang solos the high evolutionary any day. I mean, I, I can't disagree with that. you there, but I still think Guardians Three was a solid way to round off the trilogy. How can Agreed. you say that when the movies kept getting worse? Guardians One was a solid eight. Guardians Two maybe a seven, and this. This one was like a six. The Marvel trilogy curse lives on. The what now? It's just Sonic's uh, every Marvel trilogy. Ryan's opinion kind of makes me upset. What? Even oh, Spider-Man? Even Spider-Man 3 the was The third one was the best one, you son of a bitch! Tech. I'm just gonna pretend you didn't say that. Same anymore. here, Roger. Mysterio's Same here. Villainry felt more forced than the ending to Guardians 3. They finally saved the day, and then miraculously, they all realized they needed to separate. And Drax and Mantis, who clearly had a connection, didn't even get together in the end. Drax literally called Mantis ugly in the first movie. So he can't yeah. have a change of heart? You fanboys would be defending them together if they ignored that and decided to make it happen. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> Some of us prefer the third movie to the second movie, and that's okay. At least we can all agree on one thing. 
Star Lord having a Zune and not an iPod is fucking ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. I don't know yeah, why we I remember no. memories. Oh, I thought there was gonna be something else. I listened to the whole thing. <laughs> Alright, so that was Sonic, Sonic, and Sonic react to uh, review Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. What I think of it? I thought it was uh, fairly like I'm like how they like because they have three Sonics they can have three different opinions um, however I agree with Roger and uh, and Jason Ryan not so much because uh, yeah I, I don't know however this was more of like a Marvel review of anything not really a Sonic thing I, I, people just wanted me to see it and react to it I thought it was funny still really good laughs very good channel. Really hope they do more. Let me know if there's any more that come out and I'd love to react to them. If you have any recommendations for any type of Sonic stuff or any just stuff in general that you guys would like me to react to, please let me know in the comments below and let me know what you guys think of Guardians of the Galaxy 3. I personally think it's pretty good. I'd say 8 out of 10. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Bye bye!